Thank you, Dr. Arup sir, Dr. Shini, Dr. Sujit, and Dr. Gopalas Pillai for giving me this wonderful opportunity. So I will be speaking on our two innovations for, a, for the paradigm shift in the cataract surgery. So as we all know that Argentinian flag sign is a self-propagating radial extension of the anterior capsular tear, which typically arises instantly after an initial prick with a sharp hypodermic needle or a sharp tip rexus forcep. So these are the known mechanics of Argentinian flag sign and the, it was Perron described it to be the sequelae of a raised internal antiquilar pressure as the only solely factor responsible for the propagation of initial prick into a radial capsular tear. So what happens? Posterior to anterior compartment pressure, high pressure in the anterior compartment propelling the posterior compartment and there is followed by forward thrust of the nucleus. And as per their studies, Argentinian flag sign was the most common complications for the intumescent type of pearly white mature cataracts. So what is not known that it is the linear cuts that easily opens up and it rapidly radialized to the periphery resulting into this Argentinian flag sign. So there are many techniques like the small needle aspiration technique. It involves pricking the anterior capsule with a sharp 26 gauge hypodermic needle followed by simultaneous aspiration of liquefied cortical matter to decompress the back. Quite often, peripheral extension of the capsular tear commences instantly after pricking the anterior capsule. And it's, it's, uh, the extension is there even before the liquid cortex aspiration is even initiated. So we came up with a hypothesis that if we were able to manually create an opening in the anterior capsule, which had a round and regular configuration, instead of a linear cut, we may provide resistance against the disruptive forces and preventing Argentinian flag sign. So to open up the tense and stressed out anterior capsule, we designed and developed a novel instrument, sieving needle microcapsulotome, with a smooth round pointed tip similar to sieving machine needle system. So this round pointed tip, when puncture the anterior capsule, create an opening with a smooth and round configuration without any discontinuity. So this is how it is done. This round hole microcapsulotomy with round regular configuration provide greater resistance against the disruptive forces and this liquefied cortex, it just gushes out like a volcanic eruption and it decompresses the back without propagating a radial extension of the tear. Now you can see in the enlarged, this is very round and regular opening is there. And then using this micro capsular excess forcep or utrata forcep, an intended 5 to 5.5 millimeter of rexis can be completed without any problem. Regarding the chopping technique of the hard nuclei, so we require a technique having minimum chattering, no turbulence, and ergonomic friendly towards the endothelia. So we have developed this terminal chop technique that has least stress in such hard cataract and least stressful for the jonules. So how it is different with the other techniques in the terminal chop technique, instrument tip move away from each other at the equator and there is only superficial impalement of the phaco probe as well as the chopper and their plane, they are lying parallel to the iris plane. So it propagates the initial crack into a full thickness fracture in low compressive stress. Whereas in the horizontal chop, the instrument tip move towards each other in horizontal plane at the equator with deeply impaled phaco probe and is directed towards the optic disc. Whereas in vertical chop, the instrument tip move towards each other in the vertical plane and the sharp chopper direction is towards the optic nerve. So this tool, it creates with a blunt olive tip, it creates a shallow groove with the specially designed chopper that is terminated by Dr. Rajinder Prasad by keeping the chopper in a lateral position and phaco probe only superficially impaled. Now you can see it is based on the Griffiths theory of brittle fracture. It is a blunt olive tip, so avoid damage to PC and this chisel triangular at 75 degree is there in the middle part that creates the drag and consonant forces. 
So this is a small video in a cataract nigra case. You can't get much harder than this, right? So this is the blunt olive tip terminator chopper with the triangular chisel angled at 75 degree. This is the vest tool with a curved angle to the distal shaft. And this is based on the Griffith's theory of brittle fracture. So this is how it is done at very high vacuum and power setting superficial impalement with the phaco probe. And within the capsular axis margin, this vest tool goes behind. And within the margin, it is dragged for 1.5 to 2 millimeter. And it's dragged into opposite direction. And a full thickness crack in such leathery hard cataracts is obtained without using least of energy. This is again a little bit softer cataract. In this, AC was shallow. So we did the sculpting. And then only superficial impalement, and this tool goes behind terminator chopper. It's dragged, and you can see a full thickness crack from this equator to the opposite equator. Now, again using the same technique, these heminuclei are again divided into subnuclei, and this terminator chopper acts as a dialer also, go going behind the equator and dividing into subnuclei. So we can have clear cornea all the time in such type of hardest of the cataracts also. So in the conclusion, we need proper workup, ready for everything, innovate as per needs, and plan B needs to be in place all the time. Thank you, thank you so very much, and thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Arvind, uh, showing uh, two, uh, I think, most important areas of cataract surgery where uh, innovation has changed the perception of surgeons to improve the quality of their surgery and outcome for a patient's point of view. I think wide cataract, especially intumescent wide cataracts, and very, very hard cataracts are two, which uh, in India we often see them in a larger number than any other part of the world. That's why the sur Indian surgeons are much better, you can say, uh, uh, in a position to tackle these uh, difficult scenarios. I think in a white character, you nicely showed that, you know, it has to be a, the way you have to decompress the, the pressure from inside. It may be a puncture, it may be aspiration, but ultimate goal is to decrease the intralenticular pressure without causing the stress, the torn capsular excess area so that it goes to peripheral area. So beautifully described by many, many people how to handle these cases. And you beautifully described both of them, Arvind, very nicely. And Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Also, beautiful surgery. I think uh, Dr. Rajinder Prasad had done wonderful work in these areas. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I always tell the younger people to examine your pa patient properly. Look for uh, the type, pattern of a morphology of cataract, any cataract, then plan your surgery.